pain, illness, death, murder. What comes to mind when you think, hear these words? Suicide, third world co countries, mass shootings. Over 1.5 million people were brutally murdered last year, and it was all legal. The CDC has all of these reports and statistics can be found on their website. What I'm talking about is abortion. This is what comes to mind when I hear those words. I will be talking about uh, the termination of the pregnancy, or at least the process of it, the risks and side effects for the mother, laws, and adoption over abortion. Keep in mind that some of these images will be graphic. You can either look away or you can leave now. So, after the session. So the termination of the pregnancy. The doctors will clean the cervix with gauze coated in soap. They will inject a numbing medicine when you know you don't feel it. Then they will dilate you with a thin metal rods and they will insert this suction tube and take out all of the uh, pregnancy tissue, removing all of it. That would be the first trimester. Second trimester abortions, um, doctors will uh, use, don't quote me on this, Lamaria. It's a sterile seaweed that induces labor. Um, and then they will use stopper clamps to tear the baby apart piece by piece. So this is the low area, and then that's the process. And then they discard the remain into a uh, biohazard can after they throw it into a can. Third trimester. This takes about three or four days to do. They first in inject a uh, ditroxin into the uterus, which causes cardiac ar arrest for the baby. And at this stage, the baby will feel everything. This can happen up into the day before your due date, even on your due date in some states. Um, the doctor will again insert plumeria to, dil to dilate you. The woman will carry her dead baby inside of her for two or three days while it continues to induce labor. The doctor will use another ultrasound to ensure that the baby is dead. And if not, they will inject another dose of ditroxin, which ditroxin is used to help with uh, heart problems in adults, but enough of a lethal dose will end up killing the child. Then she will give birth to her stillborn baby. And if it does not come out whole, then they will go in with the soaker clamps and tear it apart. And if for some reason the baby is born and it's still alive, in some states they will leave it to starve to death, like in New York, in a bucket. Sounds like murder to me. These are what the baby will look like once they tear it apart. This is the first trimester. This is second and third. Well, obviously not third, but this is what it will look like. Side effects and risks for the mother. The body is nat not naturally designed to do this. God did not design you to get rid of your child like this at all. First trimester, there is an injury to there's risk for injury to the uterus and cervix. There's abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, uh, headache, and heavy bleeding. It's like your body's punishing you for getting rid of your child. Second trimester, um, there is cervical lacerations, hemorrhage, infection. There, in some cases, most mothers die, and then you more than likely will become sterile, or you will have major complications with any other pregnancy. Third trimester is pretty much the same thing with hemorrhage, lacerations, uh, the death of the mother, and future pregnancy complications. Laws for Missouri, where I'm from, anything uh, in first trimester is legal. After that, um, if anyone's caught giving an abortion for second or third, they're caught charged with second degree murder, both the doctor and the mother. In Kansas, it is only uh, 
they have stricter laws than Missouri does. You can only uh, have an abortion between four and six weeks as long as the fetus is not visible. Is that correct, Lord? Do you know? I thought that Missouri passed a law that as long as they had a heartbeat, you could not. They might have. But it was it, like, it was like some recent, like yeah. within the last month or two. So. Um, New York and seven other states offer anything up to due date or even afterwards. Some states you're allowed to decide after the baby is born whether you want to keep it or not. Not give it away to keep it or not, whether you want to dispose of it. Um, I highly recommend adoption over abortion. It's 2019. If you don't know how to use birth control, that's on you. It's not your child's fault. So there's several, several families and several people that can't have children and would love to be able to take care of a child. And you can end up giving them that opportunity. Um, you could end up feeling like you're doing the right thing. You could fulfill someone's dream of having a child or to give a child a happy and healthy life, which otherwise they wouldn't have. That would give answers to the mother's what ifs. What if I can't take care of them? What if um, there's no chance of regretting the decision abortion? 86% of mothers regret their decision to have an abortion. Um, adoption costs nothing to the mother if they go through the state. Birth mothers can get financial aid during pregnancy and adoption process. They can continue to have contact with their baby after uh, the adoption has taken place. And adoption comes, or abortion comes with medical risk, but adoption doesn't, as long as you don't have any pregnancy complications. Uh, this hits kind of home for me for the simple fact that my dad was adopted and his mother could have aborted him, but she decided since she couldn't take care of him since she was 17 and it was a bad situation that she would want to give him the life that he couldn't have and that she couldn't give him. And we're also very thankful for that. So my main points are the process of abortion, the risk factors and side effects, laws, and choosing adoption over abortion. Thank you for listening.